Um, I, a question that I have too, um, that I actually saw a couple in here is, I, if I've already completed my census, what is there anything else I can do now to draw more attention, to have to encourage others to complete, or is there a, a step further that I can go? You know, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, put it on social media, follow us on social media, we post our our uh, posts on social media so people can see it. Tell them that's important. Tell them that it's really affecting their lives. Tell them that they're getting billions of dollars in a, in 10 years. The census only happens every 10 years. Yeah, that was actually one of my questions. Is there a reason for that? Yes, it is mandated in the Constitution. Oh. And the first is a 24th census. Whoa. Yeah. 230 years have passed, Jess. But we've only done it now for 24. So it's interesting. So that's why it's so important that everyone is counted. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. I have another question. Is there an age where, like, is there a limit or a, um, a minimum where you can be to fill out the census? Like, can a teenager fill out the census? Does it have to be their parents? Well, it's who's responsible of the household. Okay. That's who should fill in the census. So if a teenager, you know, he's uh, 17, he lives on his own, right? Mm -hmm. He is, you know, the owner of the household, then yes, he will fill it in. But it's just one person from the household. Why? Because we don't want duplicate information. It does happen, right? Because, you know, some people are like, oh, maybe, we... but it's sometimes better to be counted more than less. But what we're doing is everyone to be counted correctly. And even though that happens, we already have, um, we call this a post-enumeration post survey. That means that we have people that go and confirm the information. Hey, I'm seeing two Jess here. Jess Garcia, is that correct? Is there a twin or something? So I'm very popular. We do verify the information. Honest. Yes, your name is, <laughs> mine is not that popular. You meant it's not that popular, but just, uh, yeah, they could be. So we do go back and verify that information. Um, we want everyone to be counted that is alive on April 1st. We want babies to be counted. A lot of people don't understand that babies do count. You know, okay, they're not talking, but in 10 years, they're yeah. going to need these funds to go to school. Right. right. Absolutely. That's such a good point. That's such a good I didn't even think about it that way. And a lot of people don't. A lot of people think that because they can't talk and they're not, you know, uh, paying income tax or et cetera, they don't need it. But they do. Right. Yeah, because there's going to be a certain amount of kids that are going to be needing to go to school at a certain time. And you know that there's only 10 years between censuses. And that's like a good amount of schooling between that. Exactly. So it's super fundamental that, you know, we count everyone from all ages. If they were born April 1st or before, in well, 2020, they count. If they were count, uh, born after, they don't. They count, but not for the U.S. Census. And it's all, you know, due to statistical purposes, right? right. So for the decennial census, census, they wouldn't count. I mean, they would count, excuse me, those who are born April 1st or before. We're not worried about after that. After not. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I love that. I, I feel like you just, like, you've educated me so much on it. Um, I felt like I already knew so much about it, and I feel like you've... You really have. I'm going to look in some questions, if that's all right, unless there's something that you want to add off the bat. Ask away. If you have anything else that comes up, I'm, I'm going to open book. All right. Let's see what we got. A lot of these questions are not about me. I'm uh, not about the census. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I think you, you answered a lot of these. And it's like, I think a lot of my viewers are teenagers and they're concerned that they wouldn't be able to uh, fill it out. But I think it has everything to do with encouraging your parents to fill it out and, and filling yeah. it out together. I it think could be your par it could yeah. be parents. It could be your grandfather, your grandmother, you know, the one that's responsible of the household. Now, let's say um, uh, you don't live with your grandparents, mm -hmm. but you know they're not going to fill it out. Do you add them onto yours or is that a no-go? No, that's oh. a great question. You know why? Because so the information they're receiving, the survey they're receiving or the questionnaire, it's uh, linked to every residence. Oh, okay. Yes, because, you know, what about if they live on, we live on Main Street. 
mm-hmm. but they live on let's see 10 miles away well it's not the same community there right so they need the funds as well so if they're not counted how are we going to distribute the correct funds to them absolutely and not us okay what i mean is like the data that we receive will help distribute those funds to them Oh, here's a good one because I wasn't able to pin the comment, but where should we go to fill out the census or how are there multiple ways to fill out the census? Is there something mailed to us? Is it something we can do online? So if they have an address um, that is city city address, like 2000 Main Street, you know, they can do it on the internet, on the phone or by mail. And I'm going to finally because i can't get that last bit i will put 2020 the website and hopefully pin it you know someone just put here i don't pay my taxes it doesn't matter i'm not gonna say don't pay your taxes (laughs) because (laughs) yeah i'm pretty right here but (laughs) everyone who lives in this country needs to fill in the census we are a governmental agency, but we are not the FBI. We are not the police. We just want you to be counted so you can receive the funds you deserve or your founders of your children deserve. So going back to the information after I saw this post, um, they can go to my2020census.gov. That's a page that they can fill in the census. We have it in 12 languages plus English. Uh, and you know, they received the survey, which they should have because, you know, the census did start on March 12th of this year. Um, they should have received a letter or a package that informs them how to fill it. And it has a code that is linked to their address. So they can put in that code and they can fill it in. If they lost the code, well, they can do it if they have a city address. If they don't have a city address, meaning they have like, they get their mail by P.O. boxes. Well, the census does not send anything to P.O. boxes. Oh, okay. That's good to know. I didn't know yes. that. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. So it's like, oh, uh, can you wait a little bit? And we, you know, we had, we were ready for the census to end on July 31st. But, you know, with this pandemic, everyone's life has changed. Right. And our lives have changed. So, with, you know, the census had to make some adjustments. So we started retaking operations on June 10th um, for rural areas, and that's considered update leave. So that's when someone from the census, right, an employer census taker goes to your home and drops off a package, but drops off the package at the porch or at the front of your door. And these are just for rural areas. Uh, For city addresses, now they receive it by mail, Mm-hmm. And they have the option to do it either by phone, um, by mail, or by internet. But really, you know, right now, almost everyone has access to internet. They can do it on their cell phone, just like you and I are right here having a great chat. They can do it. It's really easy. And it takes less than 10 minutes. Literally, it's it's 10 minutes. Do we even know offhand how many questions it is? It isn't. So it's nine official questions nine and yeah it's nine it's based on you know what's your name how old are you Mm -hmm. date of birth and the greatest thing of this uh thing of this census is that you can identify yourself this is the first time that the u.s census bureau gives the opportunity for the public to identify themselves have you filled it in jess oh my husband did because i I guess he thinks he's the head of the household when it's definitely me but um no absolutely it was funny because i mentioned it to him in march like oh i need to do the census and he was like oh i did it and i was like <laughs> i was like a little offended that i wasn't like a part of the actual you were hurt <laughs> i i was a little upset i was like i want to feel like you know i'm doing my civic duty i want to be a part of it hey well at least you motivated your husband to do it oh yes he's so very, you very did active. great yeah you, you know you did something and that's why I think that it's so great to encourage, um, especially everyone who's listening, is, is, is to do that. Make it a family affair. You know, we talk about how to, you know, 
join together and be more of a voice and really, you know, count. And this is, this is such an easy way to do such a powerful thing. You're right. It's really easy and it's definitely powerful. And if we can involve, you know, the family, why not do it? Absolutely. I was listening to other people like, well, you know what? I want my children to do it. I want them to fill in their names. Why not do it together? But don't do it twice because then that brings in complications. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's good, you know, it's good to teach the children that what is the U.S. Census Bureau? What is the decennial census? What is it for? Because your child, those children will grow up mm -hmm. and they need to know the importance. And maybe they can tell their friends and their friends can tell their parents, you know? So it's, uh, it's really important. It's extremely important for everyone to fill in the census. It's for their benefit. Yeah. And the information, once again, is completely confidential. The only information we share are statistics, pure numbers. So what else can I say? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, I, uh, as far as questions, I feel like the two big ones were how old do you have to be? And I feel like we really answered that, especially, you know, I feel like if we make a routine out of it, at, at, you know, with, with children at a young age, I feel like they'll be more prone to being active, especially, you know, with the census and everything. So thank you. Thank and thank you, you for yes. doing your work. I appreciate that so much. I try. <laughs> we all try. We We're try doing we do our job. best, but we can't do it all by ourselves. That's why we work with trusted voice of our communities. Um, and we are so grateful to them for everything they've done because without the public, we couldn't have an accurate count. Absolutely.